Well, the farm was established in 1945 by a gentleman called Adam Kirkwood, who still lives just up the road here. We've been running for just under 75 years. We're one of Scotland's oldest and most experienced honey producers, and we've always maintained ourselves as small, traditional and family-run. Well, welcome to Heather Hills Farm. Um, this is a great time of year to visit us because we're bringing in our main crop, which is Heather honey. There should be some honey coming in today and we started extracting a couple of weeks ago. So we're in full swing right now and it's our signatory product and it's a bit of an iconic Scottish food. Scottish Heather honey is one of the top three honeys in the world for its unique flavor and taste. It's dictated by the nectar, the soil, the climate, the region, the bees and the practices. We have several farms collaborating with us. The fruit farms down in Blairgarry, Cooper Angus and Ayleth. And uh, our bees are on their land and help pollinate the rasps, the strawberries, the black currants. Uh, the honey farm uh, was originally set up in Blairgarry because of the soft fruit. And this was in the 50s. Ever since then, Heather Hills Farm has been pollinating the soft fruit in collaboration with the farmers. It's an essential service that we provide. Collaboration is one of the aspects that Leader was looking for. From the farmers that were kind enough to let us know what pollination was worth to their crop, I got quite a shock. <laughs> Our pollination is worth in excess of a million pounds per year. In addition, we then buy the second class soft fruit that our bees have pollinated, which is still very good quality, and that's what we make our jam from. We use whole Persia fruit, which has been pollinated by our own bees. Um, they're handcrafted in small batches um, in traditional open pans. So it's adding value to the farmer and it's helping us produce another range of products along with our heather honey and our blossom honey. This season we've increased our apiaries from about 25 to 29 and our total number of beehives has gone up from 700 to 1,000. So the leader grant has helped us increase production by buying more bees. We're also increasing our extraction efficiencies so that we're going from something like a 90% extraction efficiency to a 99% extraction efficiency. So we're going to get as much honey out of the comb as possible and as much wax and there's going to be no waste. Heather Hills Farm is the leading brand in Scotland for Scottish honey and in order to remain the number one brand we're going to have to spend more money on marketing. That means a brand review and a new website and a lot more spent on the whole e-commerce side. Since our leader grant application we've taken on an additional full-time member of staff and we've got seven full-time staff now and extra seasonal workers so at this time of year you'll be seeing the extraction that's going on right now and there'll be two extra people helping to extract and when we're moving the bees there's extra people to help us move the bees from Braemar, Pitlochry and up the A9 and this is quite a arduous task because we have to do it at night or very early in the morning while the bees are still in and this all adds to the economy in the area because we're employing all local people. There's many factors a modern beekeeper actually has to deal with. He's got climate change and uh, let's face it, Scotland's not the best climate to actually be honey producing in the first place. Um, beekeeping is all about perseverance um, and it takes a long time to own your craft. Um, you're working with the bees and you're working with nature, so nothing's really in your control. So we've only got four months in the year when we can actually produce the honey, which is why it is a very special product. It's, it's limited by supply, it's limited by what we can produce, but what we do produce is of excellent quality and it's of a single flower, the heather honey, and it's very, very much in demand and respected amongst honey lovers. What we produce is all about inspiring people to support our cultural and natural heritage, um, the sustainability of the honeybee and its essential work in pollination. So Leader has been essential here at the farm. There aren't many grants out there for small businesses like ourselves, so we do appreciate what's available from Leader. They're so rare these days and it's actually performing a great function for local businesses.